In March this year, the seven-member Monetary Policy Committee, which meets bi-monthly over a three- to four-day period to assess current economic conditions and the country's inflation outlook, reduced the policy rate by 150 basis points from 16% to 14.5%. The figure has since been maintained in May, July, and September of 2020. Speaking at the 96th MPC press conference, Dr. Ennis Addison said the decision to maintain the policy rate for the third consecutive time at 14.5%. 5% was necessitated by the fact that following a period of uncertainty, drivers of our economic growth like our export receipts, financial sector performance, currency and international reserves are returning to normal and also because monetary and fiscal policies have been supportive enough to ensure the economy remains strong to withstand any shocks in the short to medium term. Here is the governor breaking down some of the committee's reasons for maintaining the rate. On the de domestic front, the policy and regulatory relief measures introduced by the Bank of Ghana have enhanced liquidity in the banking system, preserved capital buffers, and provided relief to customers severely impacted by the pandemic. These measures have also helped banks and specialized deposit-taking institutions provide support to critical sectors of the economy to mitigate the adverse impact the pandemic. The Bank of Ghana will continue to monitor the impact of these relief measures. On the real economy, despite the contraction in the second quarter, the indication is for improved growth outturn in the third and fourth quarters. Leading indicators of economic activity point to a recovery, a sustained level in consumer and business confidence broad-based growth in the indicators of the CIEA are all supportive of positive growth conditions in the outlook. From the above, it is estimated that growth in 2020 will be between 2 and 2.5 percent. Headline inflation after peaking at 11.4 percent has eased to 10.5, slightly above the upper band target. With the easing of the COVID related food price pressures, and continued stability in the exchange rate, a gradual and steady return of inflation to target is anticipated over the horizon. Underlying inflation and inflation expectations are easing. The latest stock forecast shows a somewhat improved outlook compared to the last MPC. And in the absence of unanticipated shocks, Inflation should return to the medium-term target by the second quarter of 2021. In sum, the drivers of economic growth are returning to normal, with prospects for a good recovery. Monetary and fiscal policies have been supportive, providing the necessary underpinnings for the economy to withstand the negative output shock arising from the pandemic. However, this has come at the cost of moving away from the consolidation path and could pose a risk to long-term macroeconomic stability if decisive measures are not taken to define a feasible fiscal adjustment to stabilize debt. Under the circumstances, the committee's view is that the risks to the immediate outlook for inflation and growth are broadly balanced and decided to keep the policy rate unchanged at 14.5%. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to our City TV YouTube channel for more videos on the business dashboard. Tune in and stay updated on the key business news stories of the day with Business Dashboard every weekday at 7pm only on City TV.